Welcome back, Survivalist. So with the holidays right around the corner, you may be asking yourself what are you gonna buy that prepper in your life, that outdoor enthusiast, that camper, that backpacker, or maybe that's you that I'm describing and you're really wondering what are you gonna buy your parents to help convert them into preppers, right? You can do that as well by buying them one or more of the items that we're gonna be talking about today. So today I'm gonna run through the 10 survival items every prepper would love as a gift. So first up on the list is going to be the Hybrid Light Mammoth. So I'm a big fan of Hybrid Light. You've probably seen me talk about them in some of my other videos, but I absolutely love this product. I think this is the perfect product for any prepper out there. So why do I like it? So it's a rechargeable LED flashlight. It has two different lights. It has a bank of lights here or a directional light at the top of it. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm a big fan of this omnidirectional light. I like lanterns over flashlights. The reason for that, you can set it down and you can have both hands free. You can work on stuff, you can use the bathroom, you can fix something. I'm a big fan of having this bank of LED lights like that. But if you are looking outdoors or something, you need that directional light, you can do that as well. So that's one reason I like this thing, but the real reason I like it because it has a rechargeable battery in there with three ways to charge it. So one, you can just charge it from a USB or it looks like a micro USB port. So you can charge this up from a home battery or you can charge it up from your car or any USB charger that you have. But you can also charge it just from the solar panels on the back. That is what I really love. So if you're going out camping with this, let's say, you can just set this up when you get to your campsite, let it charge up so it's ready to go at night. If you give this to, let's say, your father-in-law or something, right? He could keep this out in his garage and just set it up on a windowsill. Every time he needs that, it'll have a full charge because of that solar panel on the back. And I absolutely love that feature. Now, the third way that you can charge this is actually directly from your wall outlet. It has a um, AC prongs here. It literally plugs into your wall fully charges the entire thing. So if you know that there's a storm coming, you know there's a hurricane or a blizzard coming, take this out, fully charge it, make sure it's fully charged up and you're good to go. And I love this because you don't have to worry about if the batteries are dead or if you have AA or AAA or nine volt batteries, you don't have to worry about storing all these batteries. The rechargeable batteries just make life so much easier. And literally just by you know leaving this out, let's say you leave this out on the garage windowsill, and you don't use it maybe once a week or so, it's almost always gonna have a full charge on it. Now this thing also has a couple other nice features. It's got a magnetic base on the bottom. So if you need to work on your car, for example, you can just attach this to your hood of your car. You can angle the light whatever direction that you need it. So this is perfect for anybody who's working on their car often but it's also got a hook right here as well. So that makes it really good for camping. A lot of times when I go hammock camping, I'll have a light like this that I hang on my ridge line within my actual hammock, and I can kind of position and angle this light however I want it. So a super, super versatile tool. Um, I'm actually absolutely a huge fan of this. It has a nice like rubber coating to it as well, so it's a very, very comfortable light. I think that this would absolutely make a great gift for any prepper or anybody that you want to be a prepper and help them get prepared for emergency situations. And the hybrid mammoth will set you back about $60. So the next item on the list is going to be survival cord by Titan Survival. So you're probably already familiar with paracord, right? That's pretty common within the prepping community. This takes paracord to the next level. So what I love about uh, their survival cord is that if you were to open it up and kind of unwind it, some of these inner strands, and typical paracord is just these strands. That's really what gives it the strength. Survival cord actually has a strand of fishing line. It has a um, metal wire to use as a snare wire in a survival situation. And it has a fire cord wire in here as well, which you could cut off with your knife and throw a spark on it to get a fire started in an emergency. I absolutely love that. So you have all those utilities just wrapped up in your paracord already. And why I like that? Because there's many smaller uses for paracord. For example, you often see people with paracord bracelets. I get my paracord bracelets from Titan Survival. So this is survival cord right here. Another common thing that you see is you'll see zipper pulls that people make out of paracord. You might as well make it out of some survival cord or you may see a lanyard 
or maybe a grip on a knife or an ax made out of paracord, all those things can be replaced with the survival cord just to add extra utility to it. If you're gonna buy paracord, you know, I definitely recommend that you kind of upgrade it to the survival cord just to get all those other use cases out of it. So one little tip that I like recommending to people is getting some bright orange paracord and creating little lanyards out of these paracords to attach to all your essential gear. Attach this to your knife, to your compass, to your ferro rod, just so that you don't lose it. And you can absolutely do that with just regular paracord, but if you're gonna have paracord on there, you might as well upgrade it to the uh, Titan survival cord just to get all this other utility out of that paracord. Now the survival cord will run you a little bit more money. It is a little bit more expensive than just typical paracord, but you can get a roll of this starting at $30. The next item on the list is going to be survival tabs. So these are little fuel tabs that you consume to give you all those um, nutrients that you need and to give you the energy in an emergency situation. And all they are is just little, very sweet tasting little tabs like this. And it's just, it's literally just a boost of fuel for your body. So if you're in an emergency situation, you don't have any food, you have these tabs to fall back on. Now, I definitely like everybody having emergency food rations in their homes, and you can absolutely buy, or buy much larger containers of survival tabs. But I also really like these for building individual survival kits. So let's say you wanted to have a survival kit for your office, for your vehicle. Let's say you're going camping, you're afraid that maybe you didn't bring enough food, you don't really know. Pack a few of these just in case. Let's say you're going hiking or something, it's just a long day. Pack a few of these with you as well. Now, most emergency food is pretty big, is pretty bulky. Usually you have to like add boiling hot water to it, stir it up, creates a lot of trash. But what I love about this is how compact these are and how small these are. You're going on a hiking trip, you're going on a camping trip, a boating trip. You can just grab a few of these and throw them in a Ziploc bag just in case of emergencies. And so I think that this is definitely a great product to buy anybody who's really just an outdoor enthusiast. Even if they're just into backpacking, even if they're just into camping, have them bring some of these along just for emergencies. So the survival tabs do come in much larger containers for longer term emergencies, but you can just start off by buying a small packet like this for about $10 and they can kind of test them out and see how they like them. The next item on the list is going to be the UTK S5. So I have a lot of knives. I have a lot of like survival knives or bushcraft knives. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite ones that I own and it's for a few different reasons. So this is it here. And this is just a full tang. It's actually an extended tang knife. And that means that it has this little part of the tang that extends beyond it and is tapered to a point. So you can use that as a glass breaker in the emergency situation. It also has a lanyard slot there as well. So again, you could take this bright orange paracord or some survival cord, attach a strand to it. So if you're out camping, you don't lose your knife. Now this particular knife does have a black powder coating on the blade, which I think looks awesome. I actually love that. I think it's gonna protect your knife uh, a lot longer. Now I'm sure this will get scratched off with a little bit more use, but I think it looks really slick. It's got some really, really comfortable micarta scales. Got some jimping on the back of it. It's got a choil up here, so you can do a little bit more finer work. Overall, this is just a really, really solid knife, but it continues because it also has a really, really nice sheath with it as well. So what I like about the sheath is it actually has a knife sharpener built right into the sheath, and it's got a ferro rod built into the sheath as well. So you're getting a knife sharpener as well as a ferro rod with this knife. And yeah, this is definitely a really, really solid knife. It is one of my favorite ones, one of my favorite go-to survival knives. Um, you can also use this in bushcraft scenarios as well. So I think this knife is great for urban survival situations as well as like rural or wilderness survival situations as well. So this is the uh, UTK S5, very solid knife, very solid gift. Anybody would absolutely love this. And this will run you about $80. The next item on the list is going to be the Luminade inflatable solar LED lantern. It's a bit of a mouse mouthful, but I have grown to love this product. So it's got a little solar panel on top there. 
and it's just got a little uh, LED or a series of LED lights in there and has an inflatable body and all that really does is just diffuse the light and turn it into a lantern. Um, and I'm really happy with this product because I honestly, I, I never have to charge this thing. You know, if I go camping, I'll bring it and this is one of the first things I take out, I set it down and it'll kind of charge kind of while I'm setting up the rest of my campsite. And this thing is incredibly lightweight, which is partially why I bring it camping as well. Um, I like, th like this handle a lot. I set this up in my ridge line when I go hammock camping and I have this kind of lighting up my, my hammock. And this also does have a micro USB port right here as well. So in an absolute emergency, you could use the solar panels here to charge your phone. Now it's probably gonna take a long time to fully charge a phone, but nonetheless, you could get some juice out of this by doing that. And in emergency situations, like that's enough. That can be enough for you to be able to make those calls. Your phone is a survival item. It's arguably one of the most important survival items in an emergency situation. You wanna make sure you have a charge on that and you can do that with this solar lantern. But what I really love about it is like, you just don't have to worry about the batteries. It's almost always gonna have a charge on it. But if an emergency situation lasts several days, you're gonna be set with something like this. At nighttime, you turn it on, you use the light source, but in the daytime, you set this out to fully charge and you have almost an infinite source of energy, an infinite source of light in any emergency situations. You're not going around scrambling, looking to see if you have AA or AAA or nine volt batteries. You don't have to worry about any of that with something like this. And like I was saying before, I'm a much bigger fan of lanterns that cast an omnidirectional light than I am of a directional flashlight for emergency situations. Now they have a few different products. Um, the cheapest one, this one here, you can get for about $25. And they have a few bigger ones that have bigger batteries, bigger solar panels that go a little bit more expensive than that. So the next item on the list is going to be an East Wing hatchet. So there are some items in your life that you only ever have to purchase one time and that item will literally last you your entire life. An East Wing hatchet is gonna be one of those items. They really haven't changed their design much in the last like 40, 50 years, but I know people, I, I'm on these forums and there are people saying that they've had the same hatchet for 20 years, 30 years, and it's just as good as the day that they bought it. So East Wing is just a very, very reliable, reliable brand and design for a hatchet. It's, get, it's all made out of one piece of steel, has leather straps here for the handle, so it's a very comfortable handle. And it all being made out of one piece of steel is what makes these things so reliable. Now, just for comparison, you can buy a more traditional hatchet like this that has a wood handle and a steel head right here. But for starters, these things are really not that comfortable. But what happens is the first couple times you come up short hitting that log and you start chipping away right here, over time, that piece of handle will snap on you. We've all seen that, especially with um, axes. Absolutely happens with hatchets as well. Now there are some hatchets like this that actually have a plastic body, right? They try to make it a little bit lighter. Same exact thing. This thing is not gonna last you a lifetime. You come up short a few times, a couple of those logs, this thing is gonna snap right in half. But with this ax, you really don't have to worry about it. And I'll be honest, these things are actually about the same weight. This is not much heavier because it doesn't need nearly as much material for the handle. But this thing is very, very reliable. And this is great for um, camping. This is great for chopping, you know, wood, splitting wood for stripping trees of branches. There's just a lot of different uses. You can use the back here for a hammer. It's just a very, very useful, useful tool. And this is the kind of thing that you buy this for them now and 20 years from now, they're still gonna be having this, still um, remembering that you bought this for them 20 years ago. So East Wing is just a very, very reliable hatchet. They've got a fantastic reputation. It's a very comfortable hatchet. I really like the design. And it's honestly not that much heavier. It may even be lighter than a more traditional wood handle hatchet like this. And an East Wing hatchet will run you about $40. So the next item on the list is going to be a solar portable battery charger. So there has been huge innovation in battery technology in the last decade or so, as well as solar chargers as well. And this is turning into an essential item for any prepper or really any homeowner. 
but a lot of people haven't quite realized that yet. So what this is, is just a big bank of batteries that can fully charge your cell phone, I think like seven, eight times at something this size. It can charge your rechargeable flashlights like this, your emergency radios. You'll probably even charge your laptop off of this if you really needed to. It's just a big, big battery bank. It has a flashlight built into it as well. So if you are in that emergency situation, this can double as a flashlight. But what I really love about it is just this solar panel on the back here. I love that you can set this outside and it will fully charge the entire thing. So once again, if you're in a multi-day emergency situation, you set this outside and you essentially have an infinite amount of power for your cell phone or for your emergency radio or for your flashlight. That is why this is turning into an essential item in my opinion for any homeowner and any prepper. Now, they make these in different sizes. This is kind of like a medium size. They make smaller ones. They don't, but I really like this size with the solar panel on it. I also bring this every single time I go camping, I charge all my flashlights from it, charge my camera from it, charge uh, my phone from it while I'm using it. I also use this a lot when I'm on the airplane as well. I'll plug my phone into this and I'll start playing on my phone for the entire airplane ride. So something like this has a lot of utility, right? People will be using this in many different situations, but because it has this solar panel, because your phone is such an important item in any emergency situation, I absolutely recommend that you, everybody should own one of these. And I think this makes a great gift for anybody. And these things start off around $40. You can go up a little bit higher than that. There's no real one specific brand that I, I recommend. There, there's a bunch of different manufacturers out there that make them, but I'll have links in the description to a good quality one down below, as well as links to all the other items that I'm talking about in today's video as well. So the next item on the list is going to be the UST Strike Force. So in a wilderness survival situation, even some urban situations, fire is gonna be one of your top priorities. And that's what this is. This is a ferro rod to help you start a fire. And it throws off a really nice shower of sparks. Got a nice fat ferro rod. And this is all just one inclusive kit, which I love. I love that the two parts are connected, so you're not gonna lose one of them. And I love that it's bright orange as well. Again, so you drop this, it's gonna be much, much easier for you to find this. So I really like to have they have it all in one self-containing kit, but the bottom of this actually opens up as well. So you can have some fire starting material in there. There's a pretty big cavity as well. So you can put your own fire starters in there. If you run out, right, you can put some tinder in there. You can put some fat wood in there, some crumpled up leaves, whatever you can find so that when you're ready to go, you have your striker and your ferro rod right here and you've got some sort of fire starter in the base of this. So I think that this is an excellent item for campers, for wilderness survivalists, for bushcrafters, even for, you know, hikers may want to throw this in their backpack as well, just in case they get caught um, after dark in, in the woods. And so this is the UST Strike Force, and this will run you about $20. So the next item on the list is going to be the Survival Filter Pro. So in vast majority of survival situations, whether it's an urban survival situation, like let's say you're stuck in your home after a bad hurricane, or a wilderness survival situation, you're hiking and you get lost, Water is going to be one of your top priorities, if not the top priority, having access to clean drinking water. You need a water filter, right? And that's really where this comes in handy. This is a water filter, but it's a very, very convenient water filter. It has one hose that goes in the dirty water. It has a separate hose that comes out for clean water. It has a manual pump and you're pumping that water through that hose. And I just really like that design. It has an excellent water filter that you can backwash and clean out so you can reuse it later on. And it's just got a very compact and portable um, form factor for it as well. And this ability to actually pump the water through the filter and out of a hose into another container, it's kind of a big deal, right? A lot of these other survival filters, survival straws, you have to kind of get down on your belly, get right next to the contaminant, the dirty water in order to drink it. And it, it's not very easy to transport that water. And right? it's also perfect if you have an entire family, you can use this to filter couple gallons of water for your family or for your camp. And so I honestly think that this is a great item for anybody to keep in their home 
or to bring with them when they're going backpacking or camping. And so this is the Survival Filter Pro, and this will run you about $70. The next item on the list is going to be the SOL Emergency Blanket. So this is a Mylar Emergency Blanket. And Mylar is a very thin and lightweight material that can reflect up to 90% of your body's heat back towards your body. In most survival situations, you don't wanna focus on creating a heat source. You already have an excellent heat source. You wanna focus on containing your own body's heat. And that's what these uh, do very, very well. They're very lightweight. You can use this for many different form factors as a ground cloth or to make a shelter or a sleeping bag or just to use as a blanket. These emergency Mylar blankets are fantastic for any survival kit that you wanna build, whether it's a wilderness survival kit, an office survival kit, a home or a car survival kit, any of those situations, this is definitely like a must have item. And they're relatively affordable. You can buy one of these for $5, you can buy four of them for a family for about $20. And this is definitely a, a must have item for any survival kit. So what did you think about my list? Comment down below if you have any other ideas for gifts that you think preppers would like this holiday season. And as a reminder, I will have links to all the items that I mentioned today in the description of this video. Next, you should check out this video I did right here, breaking down the 11 items that FEMA wants everyone to keep in their homes for emergency situations. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more prepping and survival videos, and I'll see you over in the next video.